appreciate you clicking on today's video. I have a very maybe exciting one. I don't know if I want it to be exciting, honestly, because we are taking my untuned twin turbo 2024 Mustang GT to the drag strip. There aren't a lot of people that are fans of the fact that this car is not tunable yet. There's turbos on it, but in reality, it's nothing crazy. Uh, we did a bunch of data logging while turboing the car and it was fine up to five, six pounds of boost. The factory ECU was correcting the fueling. So we pulled back a little bit through three pound springs in it. It's making 522 wheel horsepower on just three pounds of boost has done so for almost 10,000 miles now beating the absolute life out of it. So I think it'll be okay. I think that people are just a little scared, but sometimes you gotta live on the edge. Kit that's on the car, it is a one of, well, it was a one of one, now it's a one of two Hellhorse twin turbo kit for the S650. Uh, I did do a video on the whole car breakdown drive, so if you want to go watch that, today is mainly gonna be the drag strip. Since then we have made one change and that is the turbo size. We switched the turbos of this and my drag car because this for some reason had bigger ones. So currently this car has comp air-cooled 63, 65 turbos. As I mentioned, the car is a manual, so not really expecting much out of it i'm hoping to maybe get like an 11.9 best case scenario uh but i have put 9,000 miles as i mentioned those are all miles on the twin turbo kit so i reset it from then on it has been my daily driver we're doing about 20 miles per gallon so far zero issues but we've done our basic maintenance we've kept it low boost so really can't be that nervous Anytime I've made posts into Facebook groups or anything showing the car, everybody says they're just waiting for it to blow up. So I think if it's gonna do it, it's probably gonna do it at the drag strip. I've yet to take it to the strip. I did while it was stock and I think I ran like 13s. I can't really get the car off the line. I'm, I've always had an automatic. So to be honest, it's probably driver mod, but I'll be the first to admit it. So fun, we're gonna go out to OSW. They've got a little test in tune tonight. I'm gonna have some fun. Hopefully the car stays together and hopefully you guys can get a good idea of what this car can do at a whopping 522 wheel horsepower. So with that being said, if you do enjoy today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, let's go ahead and get a cold start and head to the drag strip. trying to make any excuses here and if you only watch on YouTube which is probably not very likely if you watch me on TikTok you already know this but I can't feel my left hand due to I have multiple sclerosis if you guys know what that is and I'm currently having a little episode and my left hand is completely numb so our shifting hand my right hand good to go left hand driving hand not good to go but I feel like I'd rather be the one steering than the one shifting no I don't know, but if something happens, actually no, not making any excuses. We'll be fine. We just made it to OSW and they actually got the scales open. So I'm gonna see how much this bad boy weighs real quick. A lot of people talking trash on how heavy they are. So I'm interested to see. All right, we made it to OSW. We've got the gap cam on there. Probably not gonna gap anything, but there's a really long line because somebody blew up at the line. Um, we'll see what this thing can do. I tr don't know what to do with the launch settings because I'm very new to manual cars at the drag strip in the first place. And uh, I don't have that much driver mod, but you guys wanted to see this thing at the track, so we'll, we'll see what I can get out of it. All right, we're about to watch John get his first run in since his rebuild. So I think he's trying to get a nine second pass, low nine. I'll help him with the pass and I'll come back. Oh! 
Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna go fast at all. No. This car is stupid. Right now. Yeah. I'll be right back. A nice 14.3, uh, a lot of wheel hop, a lot of wheel spinning. Um, once I got into it though, the shifts were great, car felt great, so I'm hoping that I can somewhat get off the line this time. Maybe leave it a lower RPM and see what it can do. I'm gonna attempt, ah! I'm gonna attempt to lower the RPM on the leave, because I left it around 3,000 RPM and it did not like it. Maybe I'll leave off of idle, but I mean, it's just gonna be so slow. I don't wanna buy a tire, but it needs a tire. All right, well, I guess for the time being, we're going to watch this twin turbo Huracan go. these tires from the guy that built the car, Jeff at L Horse. So I'm gonna leave it like 1500 RPM and just see what the car will do on the back half of the track. It's really the only way that I'm gonna get anything out of the car tonight, to be honest. I don't really know what the goal is. Um, obviously, we're not gonna go around a crazy time like the other cars, but if I could, if I could trap over 120, then I'll be happy. That's my goal now, I guess. Can we trap over 120? I'm literally gonna leave off of 1500 RPM. If it spins there, then I don't even know what to tell you. Well, it did not like idle very much at all either. Uh, I didn't have a camera inside the car this time, but it was breaking up a good bit. So I just, it was either breaking up or wheel hop. I couldn't necessarily hear the difference with that dang helmet is way too small, but uh, I don't know what it was. And I really didn't feel like breaking it because currently this is my only car that I have. So I did not get back in it. I could maybe do some, some pulls on the way home realistically, because that's all I could have gotten out here not being able to launch. So. Maybe we'll do some spirited driving on the way home at least and have a little fun. But the goal was to get me out of the house tonight and uh, have a little bit of fun. I got out of the house tonight. I had a little bit of fun. So car didn't break. Eh, we'll see on the way home. Car hasn't broken yet, so I'm all right. I'm not going to spend a bunch of money on a drag pack for this car. I know how much money it costs to build a drag car, better yet a manual one. So I don't want to do that again. Plus we have the C6 coming up. I'm sure that will perform plenty well. So I'm not even going to test it.
Alright, here's what we just ran. What is it? P1SC. What pool are you on? Fat. Like 3.75? 3.75? <laughs> Dude, that th those ones make like 7 pounds? No, <coughs> I'm on the baseline pro charge, so it makes like 3. Alright, like 3 pounds. That was close though, that was really close. I'm glad to see this car didn't blow up. Those turbos, it's the turbos on the top end, dude. Boys, we ended up making it back home safely. Uh, drag strip obviously did not go as planned. Probably a little bit of driver mod, plus it would probably help if I actually had a tire. I could not get the car off of the line. But at the very least, we got to go to Mexico afterwards and I had fun going against that Gen 3 car. I'm really, really excited for these cars to finally get tuning. No clue when that's gonna happen, but when it does, you better believe we're gonna throw everything we can and test that new Gen 4 Coyote. With that being said, let me know what you guys think about the 2024 Mustangs. Do you like them? Do you not? We've had a couple months to sit here and think on it. I personally love this car. It is arguably the favorite one that I own. However, once they can tune, I feel like it's gonna take it to even another level. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. That's actually not American content. We are gonna be taking a G80 to go and get tuned, trying to make like 850 something wheel horsepower. I don't know. That is gonna do it for this one. I will see you guys in the next one.